When I think of corporate, I think of gray and white. You know, black, white, and then their theme color. What do pieces hanging in institutions feel like? Dry and drab, and they sort of like bring up literally um, the values that institution are showing, right? You come into a space and everything is identical as it would be. The unique perspective and history that you're bringing with you is really important and should inform your learning here. We're just like, okay, you know, we've got this big wall in the finance lab. Why don't we see if we can use it? And that was the beginning to a very beautiful journey. I work here at the bridge, so we were told that there was going to be a mural, and then we were brought into the community engagement sessions, not once, but twice. We were given updates, especially from Stephanie. This project has been about learning how to break down barriers for students and community members, and participating in a creative process that is about celebration and joy has been wonderful and probably one of the highlights of my career. I was a little hesitant because it's a finance lab. You know, you don't really see too much color other than like tickers. The murals will be on these two walls here where Lorraine is. So Lorraine, can you just do the, the thing? Yeah. <laughs> My home country, Jamaica, you drive by one street and the houses are like pink, purple, green, orange. Like you will not see just a black or a white house. Oftentimes when people think about art or black art, it kind of leans in a space of, well, is this professional? Does this belong in the corporate world? And what I love about this mural is we're shaking up what that means. For me, I really like to clutter things and then let them explode in one direction. So this is kind of what's happening right here. different commodities, so it's like oranges, gold, at the same time bringing in the abacus and then the laptop to have like then and now. With this like geometry here, I mean it was just as much about like history and the legacy of mathematics, mapping of things like stars or space. I was thinking very much about this being how we move forward together and how this is a space where people can dream and build and expand their knowledge. A lot of my friends who aren't in management, especially those who aren't in finance, say that now they feel like they can come into the bridge because it's inviting. bringing all these different community members together to co-create something. We've not only created a space of belonging, but we've validated that yes, you do belong here. Tonight is a community celebration where we're trying to bring everyone who participated in the project back to see the work, to experience the joy, and to just celebrate black entrepreneurship and black excellence and inclusive excellence at the University of Toronto Scarborough. Place the cards in. Look at It feels really special to like see it finally here. And this is how it looks. <laughs> you know, raise the curtains, you get to see like through the glass. So students get to like see themselves, you know, feel um, open and welcome like every day when they come to school. It meant a lot to me because generally um, they don't really seek students' opinions on stuff like that. We kind of show up and it's there. And as I'm working with a lot of these students, they're seeing us do things and recognizing the endless opportunities that exist. We'll be able to go into industries and shift the culture just by being present. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> sell, sell, sell. <laughs> yeah. Having these pieces here is having something to kind of like daydream off on is really good to like get your mind uh, moving again. <laughs>